Right now I'm building a bridge across the stream and I'm using my laser level to transfer some heights on the balustrade posts ready to cut them off at the right height. I've measured up 900 millimeters, that is the minimum height for a balustrade and then I've deducted 45 millimeters because that's the size of the capping and that's the size I want to cut the post at. Over here you can see I've mounted the laser using the small basic hole in the base and a nail. The other mounting options are there's a strong magnet at the back for fixing onto steel. Under here we have a thread for a construction tripod. This part of the laser shifts off and there's a thread for a camera tripod. If you look on the posts you can see a nice clean line. This was our 900 millimeter line and then below that 45 millimeters is the laser line. I've been using the Leica Lino for six years now and I've had no problems with it. However, I'm ready to upgrade soon with the new model. The new model is good for two reasons. One, the battery life. In comparison with this laser, it takes four AA batteries and it lasts seven hours and I'm forever changing the batteries. It's really annoying. The new model has a rechargeable lithium-ion battery and that lasts 44 hours. So you would save a lot of time with that. Also, the newer model is green. The green laser is four times more visible. DeWalt also has a green laser with a big rechargeable battery. However, I like the Leica Lino a lot more. The reason why is because if you look at the laser line, it's very thin. It's comparable to the thickness of my pencil line. Whereas the DeWalt and the other brands have a much thicker line. Of course, the greater the distance you are measuring, the wider the laser line is going to become. So as a rule, you always want to measure at your datum point is the middle of the laser because the middle of the laser line is going to remain the same and the top and the bottom of the laser are going to grow with the greater the distance you are shooting.